What is up, hello, I'm me. It's your boy Milo, and today I have a special video for you guys. Let me give you guys a little backstory, and I'm gonna open up with you guys a little bit. I'm gonna just tell you how life has been, because I feel like we do not do that often. I feel like this is something a lot of relationships go through, and it is something that causes a lot of relationships to fall apart. Hazel has been out of town for primarily the reason why we did not do Vlogmas this year. She had this trip scheduled for months. She just wanted to go back to her hometown, just visit family, revisit some restaurants that she grew up eating before she went to chicago we was having a bunch of issues to be honest as of lately we've been having a bunch of issues there's been a lot of miscommunication misunderstanding and a lot of me just not doing my part as a man as her partner i slacked off a lot i am starting to realize that i didn't necessarily know i was doing anything wrong but in all reality i was and i had time to reflect i had time to actually analyze my actions and i've really been fucking up bro it is something that's threatening to a relationship in the long term but it is also something that can be overcame very quickly as you guys see on camera, I'm usually a very loving boyfriend. I'm usually very caring. I'm usually, you know, very gentle with Hazel. Usually understanding. As of lately, I haven't been. I've been letting my emotions and my inner issues get in the way of our relationship. Not necessarily going to say I've been losing sight of how important this relationship means to me. Losing the thought that I can lose her. There's just a bunch of things that I pretty much just been slipping up on. In my opinion, I just haven't been performing. To be 100% blunt with you it's been a few times where we argued and she would cry i don't show her that same attention that i once did when she was crying it's like i wouldn't hold her like i used to i would let her cry for a second before i give in you know what i mean it's like these little things i wasn't catering to her, her emotions like i usually do that cause us to get into a lot of fights in my mind i'm just mad but in all reality i cannot let my anger overshadow me showing my emotions and showing how much i truly care before she went to chicago we got so like a really big fight it lasted like two three days and it wasn't like consistently but it's like we will argue we'll be good and then we'll argue about that same thing because we didn't address it she left she told me maybe we should take a break i'm not really having that because i don't believe in breaks so the entire time she was gone i was calling her talking to her the exact same calling the baby like nothing changed so i wouldn't even consider us taking a break but that was the worst so um basically planned out an entire day for her i've been planning this since honestly way before she even left for chicago two days after we started arguing i really wanted to bless her with an amazing day when she came back that is what today is all about today i'm going crazy and it's in a different way if you know my hazel's backstory me and her one thing that we always bonded on was the movie titanic when i first met her she asked me what my favorite movie was i told her it was titanic she was so blown away because that was her favorite movie as well sometimes for our anniversaries we revert to that movie and we watch that movie. I am taking her to a Titanic museum in Orlando. After that, we're probably just gonna mess around, probably go do like an activity like bowling or something in that nature. We'll get lunch as well, just something quick because after that we have this animal tour where she'll get to feed cows, she'll get to feed horses. She loves animals unconditionally. Every time we try to pass cows, all she says is, I wanna pet one. <laughs> I think she's gonna really love that. We got this tour slash viewing slash feeding thing going on. So that's gonna be super lit. And then after that, we have a romantic dinner under an oak tree. I just feel like it's gonna be extremely special. Hopefully during our dinner, we can have like a deep conversation, a deep talk, really talk about our relationship and break down what it is that we need to work on and what it is we need to fix just to make sure we're not losing sight of how special this is because I do feel like it does not get more special than what we have. Never told you guys about any of our arguments. We always skipped it. We'll just say couples go through stuff and just gotta make sure it's taken care of. I gotta make sure I fix every wrong thing that I'm doing in this relationship to make sure everything is still strong and standing. With no further ado, let's get into this vlog, man. We're about to go out, turn up, have a good day. Um, I just wanna see her smile. Peace and love. I'll see you on the next clip. What, what is up, Hello Army? Army? It's your boy Milo. It's the girl Hazel. And today we have a very exciting day for you guys. Um, I'm taking my little baby out to enjoy herself. She's been away in Chicago for a while. Why did I act like I wasn't sure where you was? Right? Why is it Chicago? Yeah, she was in Chicago for five days, which is a huge reason why we did not do Vlogmas this year. Um, we just had a lot going on yeah. this month. 
already. Yeah, this month is just crazy. It hints why you guys haven't got a video within the past week because even though we wasn't doing vlogmas, we promised ourselves that we was gonna go hard for you guys this month. So starting today, we gotta go crazy, baby. Okay. We gotta go crazy. Even though we ain't doing vlogmas, we're gonna try to get, get y'all some content up. I hope you guys enjoy it, but for the most part today is gonna be a, a mystery. Very, it's gonna be so me. exciting. I really think you're gonna enjoy yourself today. I've been planning this out since you left to Chicago. I've been exhausted. Like every day that I was in Chicago, I woke up super early and went to sleep super late. Like I was just on go every single day. I just got back last night. And he told me we gotta wake up early tomorrow. I was like, what? Why? Like I was so looking forward to like sleeping in finally. I have no idea what we're doing today. I guess we'll just uh, see what's gonna happen. I'm kind of nervous. It's not that. It's not that crazy. I just think it's gonna be special. I'm just nervous because I just hate not knowing. Not knowing what's going on. Like I like to plan things out. I like to know every little detail of everything. So like when I'm just surrounded by the unknown, I just feel like. I don't know, out of my element, I guess. But I just need to learn how to trust him. I know I've probably ruined so many like surprises. So I guess we'll bring you guys along on our journey wherever we're going. We're literally 0.5 miles from the first place, which is the Titanic Museum I was telling you guys about. I'm just trying to make it up to her, bro. Me and her, we're good now. It wasn't a little fight, so I know it's something that's still gonna be on her head. It's something she's still gonna be thinking about. I just wanna make sure, you know what I mean? Like I said, I know she's good, but I wanna make sure she is 100% good. As I told you guys, the Titanic is something me and her bonded on since the day we met. That was the first thing that we found out we had in common. She had to go use the bathroom, so she ran inside real quick to use the bathroom. And where we're going for dinner, it is our back that way to... Oh my God. She's going. It is an hour back, so it's about to be lit. You guys stay tuned. We are about a minute away. I don't know where we are. I don't see anything. Focus, focus. Do y'all see what that says? Oh my gosh. What? What is this? It's like a little museum or something. Oh my goodness. Did you like book this? Yeah. Or are we just doing a walk in? I booked it. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> So if you guys don't know, Titanic is my favorite movie. It's my baby's favorite movie too. We kind of like bonded over that when we like first got together. I love Titanic so much. My baby knows me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It's open. It's open. Good. Okay. We're good to go. So let me put my mask on. Y'all look how cute my baby look, bro. You look so sexy. About to take our picture on the green screen. It's about to be <laughs> You know that it's the OG. You excited? Yes. Okay. They use his real name in the movie. Hmm. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh my god, babe, this is a ticket. Ticket on the boat. For real? Yeah. That's crazy. There was a hundred thousand people like waving everybody off. It's so funny seeing all this because the only face I can put to it is Jack and Rose. <laughs> right. Look at that book. Lunch menu. Cream of chicken. Salmon, okay. Sweet bread, roast chicken, green peas. Oh, it's so So it sounds pretty decent. <laughs> Amazing actually being able to learn facts. This they is the actual expensive. prices. You said they were expensive? Third yeah. Third class rate. Oh yeah, just for Depending on where you're stopping at. Uh -huh. I think they were making like stops or something. Yeah, I think this is this is like super expensive for um back then, yeah. Yeah. The grand staircase reception area was made of with solo and then covered with decorative tiles. The glass fragment from one of Titanic's windows shows the thickness necessary to protect it from wave damage. Oh look guys, I forgot to say they gave us our own boarding pass. Yeah, look. so we get to actually go on the own Titanic. My name's Helen. Helen mm -hmm. was rushing home to attend to her son Howard who had been seriously injured in an automobile crash. You are 32. Uh -huh. You are Mr. Michael Navarti. You're traveling to New York. And you're going through a divorce and custody battle with your wife. You booked them all under Titanic under a false name to get away from her, <laughs> basically. 
Oh my god, you're trying to run out, run here, <laughs> divorced. Oh, I think it's the like the main door. Oh, we're going to have to shift from now. Before boarding, all passengers must pass their health inspection. <laughs> have you hand sanitized yet? Let's hand them. Oh. 18, boom, boom, play. <gasps> it's working. Some of the Titanic's finest suites open to this hall. Yes, yes, we go. As we walk, perhaps we'll hear the voices of some of the Titanic's privileged passengers getting settled into their staterooms. It's just so crazy seeing how their like technology and stuff work. Yeah, bro. Like, look at those headphones. Now we have Beast by Dre's. Oh, I tell you, we that boy. Oh, nice hook. Tat 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 tat. Be decent. I'm not gonna leave everything in here. Like, as far as like all of the props and stuff just in case you any of you guys want to come by yourself and experience this with your lady or your family yeah um we just wanted to show you guys a little bit of it i think yeah, we still so have cool. a lot more to go oh yeah so it's going to be a long video if we record the whole process 100 percent, especially like including like later on what is that that's a grill that was part of a grill what you mean it was used in first class that like they grilled on it are you serious yes. bro why don't we have that now we just got lines it's crazy. I love like how keys used to look back in the day. Look at that key. It's so weird. That was a safe key. There's only seven original desk chairs from the actual day. Mm hmm And they've been recovered from the ocean. It's like half the size now. Wow. So this was third class um, dishware, and this was second class dishware. That's so crazy how they had dishes, <laughs> depending right. on which class you were in. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't record the stairs. That's so sad. So he comes up with the idea too that he's going to look for a debris trail, not the actual ships. It's actually chilly in here. Did yeah, they do I was that about to, I was about to say that you see, you see how it got a little cooler when we got you in. What's sad about the Titanic? That it was dark when yeah. it happened. That's so that's even scarier to me. Alright, so I guess I died. So I died. I can't find my Let's name. Let's find me, baby. Okay, I'm a first class passenger. <laughs> Mrs. Edward Candy. Alright, let's find you. Hmm. Edward Candy. Yeah, but that's the that's the weird thing. I don't think it's in oh, order. Oh well, my! Wait, let me see it. Okay. Oh, uh, I think it is in order. It is. Candy, Miss Edward, Helen, blah dee da dee yada yada. Yeah, you lived, I died. So big. See how big they were? Yeah, that's what the hell? That like a straight jacket. I like how they changed the temperature to right. match like each room. Oh, it's so sad. Bring your sleep out there, Candy. Go ahead and pause it if you guys need to. You can buy a newspaper. Oh my god. That's, that's so cool. Good. Yeah, we're about to what get this. Is this is the pool that they use to power the ship. I'm gonna buy that for you for Christmas. Five hundred thousand dollars. Got me messed up. <laughs> that is so. That's so beautiful. Look at those earrings, so beautiful. This gift shop is so cute. That's not even feel like two hours. What did it feel like? Cause I had so much fun. We got all of the newspapers. So there's a little USB with all the pictures and then we were able to get one printed. We chose the one on the staircase, of course. Look at this. Oh, how nice. I love it. You like it? Yes. That's very rare that you like the first picture that you take. <laughs> wow. That looks beautiful. Isn't it? I bought these little 
um, playing cards. We're coming to this McDonald's because we just passed it and there's a freaking arcade in there. Like, look how crazy. And they're open 24 hours. Like, what? It's crazy because I've seen this on TikTok. Somebody posted about this on TikTok. Apparently they have food items that are not on the regular menu either. So I'm excited. Oh my God, today's so fun. <laughs> Do they have an aquarium? They got pizza. Look at they have a Philly cheese steak. What the heck? It's sold out though. <laughs> it must be good. Belgian waffle. Just oh shit, my bad. How do you go back? We got our table number. You look so good in this light. We just ordered our food. We're waiting for it now. We only got one thing that was different. Yeah, so pretty much I got a pizza and just in case I wasn't feeling a pizza, I got me a 10 piece nugget with the tropical sprite. We're trying to just eat light for now because yeah. we're gonna go out to eat later. Pizza came in, it looks thin. Looks like some Chicago pizza. It looks good. Mm -hmm. okay. it smells good as hell. Yeah, it's super hot. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Baby, I told you don't burn yourself. I know you just burned your taste buds. Mm, my lip. We just Ooh. finished eating. We're about to go upstairs and check it out. Ooh, look. They have a whole arcade in here. What's your score? 600. 600? Yes, it's booty. Bet you I'm gonna beat your score. I think you will, baby. Damn, girl. Why you throw that so? You ain't, baby. Slow down. You're not on the time limit. Oh. 150? Wow. No, I got one more. Oh. You just clutched it. Okay, Kobe. Y'all was about to say 150, that's it. I got lucky last time. How the hell you just turned up like that? Hold on, run that back. 1,000. And you got two balls stuck. Right, I was supposed to get that. Go, babe. I get so scared every time he plays basketball because you know how many times the freaking ball came back and hit me? Oh my God. Stage two. Oh my god. I know he's tired. <laughs> Look how tired he looks. <laughs> Your arms feel like noodles? Hell yeah. That's why I'm in. Oh my god, it didn't even go through. I'm so keen. That was my score, guys. Let's see what you get, bae. Y'all, they were cheating him. It's okay, bae. <laughs> They're taking away his balls. <laughs> oh no, I got confused. So this is my score. And that's base score, but it's okay, babe, because they were cheating you. Now I'm not gonna have any. Yeah, this one works. This one is not a cheater. <gasps> oh my god, he's beating me! <laughs> yeah, that sucks so bad. Without even being able to do the, uh, <laughs> that's so cute. How did I win without even being able to use my item? Right? Y'all, this button is broken. I couldn't use my item. You're so talented, girl. Oh, fine. You want to play, baby? No, it's okay. I'm going to dust they little ugly lad. Oh, my God. Let's go, baby. Go for the red one. Yes, sir. Go for that one. Yes, sir. You better. Ooh. Oh! I threw it so hard. <laughs> they laughing at you. Get the red one, babe. Get the red one. Oh, babe, look at you. Oh! And you still got 10 seconds left. Go, babe. Go, babe. Oh, they came back up. Go, baby, go! Go! Three seconds, two, one! 
They cheated me. <laughs> That's the sickest love. Oh my god. You got three sickest oh. love. You already got all the way up there. What? Oh, you gotta. It goes up and back down. I didn't know that. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're so talented. How did I do that on the first try? What the freak? See, this is why I love you, and this is why I'm with you because you win me tickets. <laughs> yeah, so I beat her in like all the games. <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, what can I say? I'm the man. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me win, though. You know, you're the talented one in this relationship, and I'm That's just here for true. the looks. So far, you like your day? Yes. I think it's only about to get better. This is like one of the funnest days that we've had in a while. For real? It's funnest a word to say. Oh. Just squared it on you. We are at our next location. Like three minutes away. Again, I do not know where we're going. Like, there's nothing really around us. Just animals and land. What is this? Where are we? Hello, how are you? Are you Rosie? That's oh, Rosie? Yeah. 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 Everyone's eating right now, so you have the perfect time with the perfect. Oh, that's perfect. What are those? <laughs> I'll have this. Oh my god. That is so cute. Which side do you want to start on? I guess we'll start over here. <laughs> hey, Papa. His name is Radar, so he is a Mustang from Wyoming. And he is a wild Mustang, so he didn't know what people were or anything like that when we first got him. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell their age by their tail and also by how their butts are. Mm -hmm. When horses grow, it's like, here's their butt, then they'll even out them. Here's their butt, mm. then they'll even out Oh, okay. So he's getting butt high again. So this will probably be about his last growth spurt. Aww. That's so cool. Yeah, he's huge. For a Mustang, he's giant, but for a regular horse, he's actually small. That was That's the softest so cool. thing you'll ever really like. <laughs> They're so cute. They just got here a couple weeks ago, so they're still learning how to do things and stuff. But they won't get that much trouble. So they'll stay around that size? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. We went to like this other farm with some goats and they kept headbutt and everything. He is a lot more friendly, the boy alpaca. Uh -huh. Like I said, she came from not a great place, so mm -hmm. she's kind of like, don't touch me. Mm -hmm. What are these? Scottish Highlands. What is that? It's a rare buffalo. I didn't know if it was a buffalo, a cow, or... Everyone thinks they're buffalo. For real? I thought this was a buffalo. No. <laughs> kiwi, kiwi, right here. Is That's such a nice her. name. Oh my god. She loves treats. She won't... She's How sweet. do I do it? Okay, look. Cows only have bottom teeth. You don't have to worry about them biting you. <laughs> the, top. the top is literally like people who have dentures. They eat their cud, they just squish. They don't yeah. have a reason to It's just bite. like gums. I did not know oh. that. I always thought like all of them had like a full set of teeth. So is this like in the same family as cows? They are cows. Oh, they are cows. Okay, yeah, okay, are. okay. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> He's like, these definitely look like cats. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up, booty? Oh, it fell. I'm so hurt. This one? Oh my god. The white one is so mean. Like she's she she's the only one trying to fight. Because they are all, they have gestation oh. nine months. So they're hey. Like, oh Here, god. I'll give it to you. Here you go. Here you go. I just wanna rub your head. You want a chalupe? In a chimichanga? You just gotta trust my body. Come here. I wanna pet your head. What are these donkeys? You can pet him. This is Churro and Queso. Churro and Queso? <laughs> no. He's oh. oh, he's mad. Okay, you want to say something really cool? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my god. <laughs> okay. Babe, be careful. Good thing you're wearing a mask. <laughs> you won't bite your lips off. They don't bite. Yeah, they don't bite. Oh, okay, really? Buddy. Oh, my gosh. Your brother. You want to hold him, baby? I'm scared. You should hold him. Can we buy him from you? <laughs> 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 the funny thing is, is if he were to be holding him, he would stop. Oh, they got attachment issues <laughs> together. You gotta start running. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think they're gonna be friends. Red. They hear the bell. <laughs> My God, look at them running. Her, she's like, oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What? Them two? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Oh, we're going to dinner? <laughs> yes. Of course, baby. And your champagne is here, and I'll be right back with the salad. Thank you so much. I thought we were about to go in there when we were coming up. I didn't even see this. Well. Babe, this is beautiful. <laughs> She's starting to cry, huh? Stop. <laughs> yes. How did you find this place? Right now, it's just about this, okay? I'm shocked. <laughs> I can't even talk. I love you. I love you. My cheeser. <laughs> is that our wine? Yeah. So if you guys don't know, this is our favorite wine. Yeah, I've just been looking forward to this all day. This is so beautiful. I think oh so. God. Better than a um restaurant, right? Yes. Definitely. I love you so much, baby. Our salads just came out. We have this and then we have a main dinner. I hope you like your salad, baby. And then, yeah. like I said, we have our wine. Got some water. She looks so pretty. <laughs> You're so cute, baby. I'm gonna just keep on keeping you guys updated and peace and love. So beautiful. I love you. You're so beautiful, girl. Our private dinner just came out. Got a filet mignon, mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes. You feel me? Let's open the wine. Uh, it's a cork, so I'm gonna have to let her know. Oh, okay. And then, um, yeah, so whenever she gets back with the cork, ooh ya, ooh wah, ooh wah. You better pop that shit on my mama now. This mac and cheese is so fire. This is the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Are you serious? Better than Malio's? Yes. Ah! Bro, that's like such a huge compliment. Wow. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> of course, you gotta take a drink. Mmm. It's so amazing. Mmm, <laughs> so amazing. Hey guys, so it is the end of the night. It was amazing. I had so much fun today. I feel like today was just perfect. It was just so fun. I had a really great time. We had amazing talks, you know, it was just quality time together that I feel like was very much needed. And um, we just really got to enjoy each other and you know. So I opened up a little bit with them, baby, in this video. So I told them like me and you, like we argued and it's just a lot that I have to work on mm -hmm. and it's a lot that I have to do to make it up to you and to make you feel loved and to make you feel wanted not again but more mm -hmm. you know what I mean so uh yeah you guys me and her we had our one-on-one -on -one talk um I know you guys wish you could have heard it but that's between me and her mm -hmm. and I know you guys are gonna understand it was very needed I feel like we are on an amazing path i feel like we had a lot of questions and a lot of issues that we put all out on the table and we overcame 
I'm so proud of us. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of myself. And I feel like we couldn't be any better, bro. Like, I feel so in love right now. I feel like nothing can stop us. I feel like we're just on the road to forever. We're gonna continue this journey. It's gonna be amazing. I had an amazing time. Um, I love those little moments, being able to just look you in your eyes, just me and you. And it's just, it's just a wonderful feeling. Let me give you guys my <laughs> secret formula to a perfect date. <laughs> Fellas, you need one, a memorable event. Mm -hmm. That could be something like, just something you guys have in common, something you can really bond on. If you guys like sports, go to like a football game. If you both are into football, base, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer, golf, whatever <laughs> it is, whatever it is that you guys can bond on, go enjoy that go experience that regardless of what it is if it's an art museum if you guys love art do that and then step two is a activity that both of you guys like whether that's bowling playing pool whether that's going to play hockey whatever the hell shit if y'all just went to a football game go play football afterwards <laughs> and then finally a memorable date so you got your memorable moment activity and a lovely date and bro like <laughs> I am extremely happy because he really catered to me today and like he knows what I like. Like I love animals. He took me <laughs> to this place. We you got guys, to she's feed been, them. I'm sorry for Go cutting ahead. you off, but she has been talking about wanting to see cows like close <laughs> and personal since Georgia. Yeah. As long as I've known you, I don't know why we've why we never went and seen cows. Yeah. I didn't even know you could just go and see cows. It's just great to see he knows me you know like obviously he knows me but yeah so today was amazing i had a lot of fun regardless of what you guys if you're in a relationship if you guys are going through things or arguing nobody is perfect no relationship yeah. is going to be perfect yeah. if you love someone fight for them love is what we were put on this earth to do you know what i'm saying it's what we're here for to love people to help people to be kind to people and I just hope you all find your happiness, whether that is in someone else or within yourself. I just hope you guys are all kind to one another and, you know, just really think about why you are here. We love you all. We hope everyone is staying safe during these times. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down something below. And um, we'll see you guys in our next video. And make sure you guys go cop our merch. Amen. As always, remember heaven added lit opportunity. So keep your halos. And keep your head up, my G. But we out. They said I shouldn't feel how I feel about you. They said I shouldn't want to be around you. They said we shouldn't be together or win last forever. Look, baby, that's cap because I'm only about you. You used to call me on the cell phone telling me what you've been through. Told me you can't wait no longer. Even had this sudden ringtone Every time it rained All I knew it was you by the song, girl Now everything is different Now they wanna see us far But girl, we are